Hello everyone, my name is Reginaldo Guzmão. I am a PhD candidate in Brazil and a member of Ecofen Lab. It's a pleasure to be here and talk about how body size and trophic level mediate climate effect on species regions. So, first of all, most macroecologists studies employ abiotic drives to understand diverse partners. Among abiotic factors, temperature and precipitation variation are major drives of species regions to different taxons, which are in more humid regions have great species regions, exactly like the tropics. However, ecologists have recently included species traits in order to untangle biodiversity response to abiotic drives, such as body size. So, concentrate on the first root. To maintain body, body temperature and reduce water loss in colder and drier climates, organisms have large, larger bodies. These communities that have larger organisms demand more energy, thus may reduce species richness. In parallel, Climate and body size may also affect the number of trophic level that a community may sustain. So, we have another rule, root. Now, let's focus on this root. By increasing temperature, the climate may allow a community to support a great number of trophic level. But high trophic level require more energy, thus it can reduce the diversity. In this way, species traits like body size and trophic level may mediate climate effect on species regions. So, we ask it, how does the climate effect on diversity is mediated by, by these species traits? We use the global distribution of tetrapods to investigate falling predictions. Regions with high average precipitation and temperature have high species richness and present lower trophic level and body size, but high body size variance. We also predict that, that climate has indirect effect via body size and trophic level on species richness. Our results show that the average temperature and precipitation increase species richness which could be explained by a combination of increasing energy available in hotter regions and lower energy costs in wetter regions. About the direct effect of traits, high body size and high trophic level reduce species regions because increase uh, demands of energy. But the body size variance increases species regions which could be explained the reduced competition in communities with great vari variation in body size, allow species occupy distinct niches. Now, about the indirect roots, uh, our results also indicated that climate determines tetrapod species regions via changes in body size and trophic level of communities. First, Temperature and precipitation had an indirect negative effect on species regions, which was mediated by trophic level. Thus, warm and humid regions support more predators with high metabolic rates, resulting in lower species regions. About the second route, average temperature also has an indirect effect on species regions through var variance of body size. In other words, high, high average temperature reduces body size variance and decreases species richness. Therefore, species in warm regions were smaller in body size, which likely favored species regions due to low metabolic cost. Accordingly, high, we, we highlight the, that body size in trophic level play a key role in species regions partner and mediate climate effect on species regions. Furthermore, future research should focus on understanding climate effect on species regions of groups with similar traits, such as within trophic level. Thank you everyone and the British Ecological Society for this opportunity. Bye bye and a nice event.